Hello strangers, how is everyone doing today? Farmer Ben is back, first live stream since being on holiday, so first live stream in what, 10, 12 days? Very exciting, I'm delighted to be back. Um, what have you all been up to? Loads of likes coming through already and what a fantastic response to the event that we put on Facebook as well to let you know that we're going live. So thank you everyone for that. Hi Vicky, hi Kelly. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And we've got quite a bit to get to. Hopefully you can all hear me okay. Yeah, it sounds really good. Um, and I was just deleting one of the comments on there. Hopefully you can hear me okay. We have brand new fancy Nancy Clancy mics. Don't we see? Very fancy. Do you want to show them off? Now, you'll probably know that I have been... Oh, I don't think mine's on. What? It's not coming through anyway. Let me try. Hello? Hello? Let me see. Should be on. Maybe you just can't hear yourself. Can anyone hear Farmer Connor? We have brand new mics. Brand new fancy mics. So we should... <laughs> uh, you know what it's like every time I'm on. It's a complete disaster. And it started off that way again. Oh no, it's really not. <laughs> also. Oh good. This is this is what we're wanting. So hopefully you can hear Farmer Connor. If you can, give us a little love heart or a little like in the stream, that'd be great, and let us know, because obviously we can't hear ourselves. Um and that's a bit frustrating. Uh, Laverne says, hello Farmer Ben, welcome back. Hope you had a lovely holiday. I did, thank you very much. Thank you uh, for all the welcome back messages. Very kind of you. It takes a little while to find your feet after being away. Um, even just for four or five days. It's crazy how much uh, you feel like you've missed out on and what's been happening. And obviously the big event that I missed out on, which sucks. And there's an unbelievable amount of stars coming through. So thank you for everyone. Uh, thank you everyone for that. Yeah, the unbelievable uh, event that I missed. Really disappointed. I did actually watch it live. Um, I tuned in, got notified that uh, we were going live and tuned in. And if you were watching Annie give birth, Annie or Donkey give birth, you'd probably have seen my big ugly face appearing on FaceTime as well. <laughs> so I was keeping Farmer Connor and Farmer Pete Wright making sure that they were um, they were doing everything properly. I want to see. Yeah, keeping us right. Uh, Debbie sent 6,400 stars. Thank you, Debbie. That's incredibly generous. Uh, Kim sent 530 and Anne sent 50. Wow, there's so many, I can't even keep up with them. So thank you everyone for that. So I am going to meet Annie's baby again just for the second time. Actually, we took some videos of the first time that we met Annie's baby and Annie was so delighted. We're going to post them up tonight. Uh, there's another, Anne Velotin sent 6,000 stars. Anne, thank you so much. Lisa sent 500. Thank you, Lisa. Emma sent 300. <laughs> I can't even keep up with them. Karen sent 1,000. <laughs> thank you, guys. I don't even know what to say. Um, Connor sounds like his mic is from your mic. Let's try and connect that again then, see. Just turn, yeah, turn it off and then we'll turn it back on again. Bear with us, everyone. There's only 1,800 people waiting for it's us to right. have a malfunction. Wouldn't be a, a Farmer Ben stream without a massive malfunction and partial disaster. Just press that wee button on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to get Connor on the mic. That'd be good. Uh, where are you guys from? Just in the... Come on then. Oh, it's Jolene. And Squint Mouse Babies, who, when I arrived back, these guys are, gave me the biggest surprise. I could not believe the size that they'd got even just in, well, kind of a week and a half because it was off almost for uh, for two weeks, in and out for the first week and then away for the second week. Uh, but I hadn't seen Jolene's babies in a good uh, couple of weeks, or squint mouse babies, sorry. They share them and that's fine. It's fine, see? That's fine. This is, this is keeping us. Ah, that's how they've got out. Again, the disasters continue. You got a wee uh, drill or a wee screwdriver? This thing's came loose here, see it? Uh, Caroline, thank you for the thousand stars. Leslie, welcome back, everyone. 4,000 stars, guys. Incredibly generous. Thanks so much for your support. Uh, yeah, couldn't believe the size that Squint Mouse Babies had got. They doubled in size when I was away. Nice. nice. Love it. Was that from uh, Katie that sent you that? I think it was. Was this Katie or was this... Um... 
because I've got mine in my pocket as well. That... Was it Julia Hans? Oh, it could have been Julia Hans. Um, so yeah, we're going to go around and see Annie's babies. Are you on? Yeah, you should be on. We're going to go around and see Annie's baby. Um, and we need a hand from you. We need a hand from you all. Because we have not got a name for Annie's baby yet. Look at Squint Mouth. Jackie, thank you for the stars. Look at her. <laughs> Cute as a button. Is that us? That keep us going tonight. Jolene, if you'd stop standing against it, that would really help us out, pal. Yeah. We're good. Can you hear yourself? Stick that earphone in. Mic check. One, two. Give yourself one, two, one, two. Yeah. <laughs> Talking to your wrist like they're doing the in the Secret Service. Here we go. We're watching live live. So it's been great to come round and just kind of take a wee second, say hello to all the animals and get kind of the, the greetings uh, from all the animals are amazing. It's so nice to come back and you see them all, you can see the look of excitement on their face. They're like, where have you been? Can't believe it, I've missed you. Uh, it's really nice to come and see them all. The donkeys start braying and yeah, it's really nice. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't catch any of that on camera. Of course, all the good content we missed. We did catch um, Annie pushing you on your backside. We did. Annie, when I went into the pen for the first time from seeing Annie's baby, um, she actually got so excited that she knocked me over straight onto my bum. It's raining, can you tell? Look where everyone is. Knocked me over straight onto my bum and then was just nuzzling right into me, wanting some cuddles. Uh, she was so excited. I was expecting her to show me, to want to show me her baby, but um, she wasn't too fussed. She was just too too excited to see me. I think. Hello, darling. Hello. And do you know what else is absolutely brilliant? And it was concerning me. All of her hair is starting to grow back in. All of her nice new hair. So those pesky crows. Hey, Sadie. Those pesky crows. Um, haven't defeated you, have they, Annie? Look at that for a cuddle. Yeah. Also, a little baby Annie's got to bite my leg at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Star says the the family, farmers and staff are awesome while they were away. Welcome back, thank you, Star. And it's good to hear uh, everyone enjoyed the lives while I was away. So the content uh, will pick up now. I know there was a, a few days that were missed, and it's hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We nearly tripped over the baby. <sighs> Put that back on, Missy. As far as I'm aware, mine still doesn't work. Okay, that's not good. Okay, sorted. So, yeah, the content, the rate of content will pick up. Um, and we'll have be on stream much more often, because that's what we love to do. And it's so much easier when there's uh, two of us who are able to uh, share the streaming. Uh, because myself and Farmer Pete both have different takes on different things and see different things as well so it's uh, it's really good for everyone to uh, kind of see both sides as well from a really young good looking perspective to a really old and decrepit perspective in farmer pete is that right see did you say that i thought you were talking about my perspective and your perspective no no <laughs> <laughs> oh, i see you done there hello little baby come and see me so in the comments everyone this is what we need from you we are needing name suggestions and I think there's a few that I've got in my head which I think would suit really nicely. Annie, have you got any? You can come and see everyone. And what a job, she's determined to knock my mic off, what a job she has made of this little foal. It is just stunning isn't it? And the little white dot in the middle of its forehead is so adorable. I see all the names coming coming through. I know the whiskers are hilarious. Let me see. Come on, you're okay. You're okay. You're wondering what's going on with all these people and the camera and stuff. Annie, seriously. If you're watching on Twitch night right now, you'll see me getting beat up. Uh, she's still quite... Uh, what's the word for it, see? Still quite... What is it when she's overbearing and really <laughs> clumsy towards you? Clumsy. Let's say clumsy. She's I still quite precious. precious. <laughs> she's still quite clumsy. 
She comes battering into you. She doesn't realise what her own strength is. No, she thinks she's the same size as this little fool. Yeah, she does. Tanya, thank you for the stars. That's amazing. Thanks so much. And look at this tiny little... See the tiny little dot of white? How does that even come through? Like, how does nature say, do you know what? Little baby, I want to give you five little strands of white hair. Yeah. It's absolutely brilliant. That is what it is, like five. Yeah, just five little strands of white hair. And baby's beard, yes, it's gross, but that's fine. It's also it's also quite adorable, yeah. isn't it? It's also better than my beard. And she, yeah, That's true. <laughs> Although we're setting a low bar here. <laughs> she's a... Uh, She's a bit she's a bit timid, so you can normally tell the nature of a donkey kind of from the outset, really. Some of them come out, they're very, very timid. Others come out and they're your best friend straight away. She's kind of somewhere in the middle. She's quite happy for everyone to come and see her, but at the same time, don't make too many sudden movements. <laughs> Otherwise, she'll... Uh, she gets a bit of a fright, doesn't she, see? Not too badly, but just... If you, like, jump over the fence, that's... Yeah, if you jump over the fence, it's just too much for her. Whereas other ones wouldn't bother. They'd be up seeing you as your best friend. Annie, seriously. So we're needing name suggestions, everyone. Put your name suggestions in the chat, please, if you'd be so kind. That would be great. Tracy says, hi all from a wet Dundee. Hope you had a lovely break farm event. I did, thank you, Tracy. Um, Jean says, how was Harrogate when you were on holiday? Harrogate was good. It was very busy. Very busy. It was nice for a day out. So, yeah, put your name suggestions in the chat and we are going to have a poll. The poll will determine what the, what the general consensus for the best name is. Uh, as we normally do, it's always a great response on our polls and stuff, so we love doing them. Uh, and also, whilst we're on, and this is a great saying that I'd heard a little while ago, uh, excuse me, I don't think we want to... I don't think we want to encourage these behaviours... Uh, a great saying I heard when uh, it was actually on another social media channel is be a friend, tell a friend. So if you would be such a friend to us and tell a friend by sharing, whether it's word of mouth, that would be absolutely great. And the reason for that is Facebook kindly has changed its algorithm. So our Facebook reach isn't as much as what it was last week. In fact, it's about 20% of what it was last uh, last month. Sorry, 20% of what it was last month and nothing's changed. Our likes, comments, everything is exactly the same just Facebook's algorithms change. So we need your help uh, to keep us growing, which would be absolutely amazing. So anything you can do for us would be absolutely brilliant. Your shares make such a difference as well. So who's guessing that Sadie's going pretty soon? See, what's your guess? I think she's still a good month away. A month? A month? Did not think you were going to say that. That belly is getting there, isn't it? See, this is a nice summer coat coming through here. Let's see if any of that will come in there. It's not really ready to come out, but that's what her summer coat's going to look like. She's going to look sleek as anything. She's going to look lovely. But have we got a, have we got a bag? She's not going to let me see, is she? So I don't want all them people staring at that area. Ah, quite right, darling. We'll have a look later, eh? We'll keep an eye on you. So I know all the Twitchers are keeping an eye. <laughs> all the Twitchers will be keeping an eye. So we've always got eyes on her 24-7. So don't worry, we won't miss anything. Um, there's loads of names coming through. Sharon says, Howdy, Farmer Ben, Farmer Connor. Howdy, Sharon. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, Daisy May for the babe, Petal for the foal. I see Daisy May was really popular. Was it? Yeah. Daisy May was quite popular, yeah. So I've seen a lot of comments coming through for Daisy May. Uh, Shona says, The cross on her back is really stunning. It is. It's very defined, isn't it? Like Winston, when he was born, it was really difficult to see that that yeah, cross because it was so dark, was so dark. Uh, but this little baby we need it we desperately need a name for her yeah. it's gonna have to go on uh, tomorrow i think we're gonna have to put the poll on uh, she's her cross is well defined right i want to go and see baby meerkat because i haven't seen it since i came back yeah. and exciting what? sorry see exciting the Wi-Fi should now be set up in the Meerkat run. This, I've never tested it because obviously a consummate professional that I am have not tested it, not done my due diligence, but I'm hoping it's going to work. Will it just be the same Wi-Fi? Yeah, same Wi-Fi. It's, it's just a booster. Oh. 
Uh, Emma says, looking forward to visiting, visiting you all on Friday and she's just subscribed as well. Thank you, Emma. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, we look forward to seeing you too. See your little teeth. There we go. <laughs> little white set of dangers, aren't they? There's only two at the front, bless it. Other ones haven't came through yet. I think it's set of years. What an amazing foal. What a great job she's done. I know, Sadie, yours is coming. Don't worry. So our Wi-Fi should be working down here. I'm not anticipating having any issues, although I've said this many times before. Um, like I say, I haven't seen the baby meerkat since I got back. I'm expecting to have some kind of shocked moments for how big it's got. Yeah, well, it's... Hair Bear's hat. He's left out here. And... You'd said it was having a wee bit of chicken the other day, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I got some good pictures of it as well. So they'll be going on TikTok and supporters, yeah, etc. later on. So if you've not uh, subscribed, it would be wonderful to see you in the community. We've nearly got 1,800 supporters now, which is crazy. Um, whereabouts is this booster, see? It's in the door as soon as you go into the right. Oh, lordy. Please work. Please work. Uh, Lynn says, think Pete Connor and yourself should pick her name. No, that's too boring. We want... Want everyone to decide, and then it's a, a collective decision. Your mic working, see? Uh, no. no. Okay. We'll work with it, it's okay. Uh, do you know what I'll do then? I'll just take the I'll just take the mic out. I'll take the mic out and then you hear us both, I think, off the mic, iPhone mic. In the pocket it goes. They're waiting on us. Oh, three bars in here. What a beautiful thing. Three <laughs> bars of Wi-Fi. What does everyone think? Has anyone seen this? Um, I put a TikTok and I put it on the supporters page as well. There we go. What Farmer Joe made a seriously yeah, good job did. of doing this. I, it's one of the jobs that I'd left on the board that I wanted done when I was away. Was to get the babies, uh, or no, I say the babies, but we just call them the babies because they're so small. Get the small tortoises out into a window for everyone to see because they stayed in the the kind of winter housing where the big tortoises stayed so no one could really see them and it's they're lovely so it's nice to have them out so this is the perfect setup for them i'm sure you will agree um rena says coming tomorrow with my family they're up from oxford be sure to say hello rena a uh, little black lamb needs a name yeah we've got a few names to do i yeah. think haven't we uh, so yeah this is looking great the tortoises are loving it. They like the nice light that comes through. We've got the heat lamp. Oh, I managed to get a bag of this today. Oh, lovely. Yeah, 10 kilos of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 10 kilos of it. And I got some extra roughage for those as well. So some more feed. So I've been very busy. Um, and also, I have to say a big shout out to everyone. Because of your stars and subscriptions, etc. Um, that is what I was buying the... That's a... Oh. That's what I've got the tortoise food and everything for. It's all so. fed to the animals and all coming back into the farm. Yeah, it's all coming back into the farm, which it always does. And the the mealworms as well. Got a five kilo bag of mealworms. Um, and again, that came from everyone's uh, kind support. So thank you, everyone. Big pat on the back from yourselves and hopefully loads of likes coming up for that as well. The meerkats will find peace for the mealworms as well. Yeah, they will. They'll be, they'll be loving it. Right. Uh, Marianne says, I love how you say tortoise. Tortoise. Everyone, everyone yeah. thinks it's hilarious when you see tortoise. Can you get in here without them getting out? Yeah, yeah. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's you guys. <laughs> it's dinner time. Well, it shouldn't be dinner time, but I think they're still eating away. Hello, pal. What do you think? So you are in number one Meerkat Manor. No, number two, actually, because number one used to be out here. And we've improved the pen, so they've now got their nice fancy window. A well, balcony kind of. Technically, it's number three then, because you had the old one. Oh yeah, number there. three, number three, Meerkat Manor, and they're loving it. They love it in here. Now they are inside. Um, we've kept them inside, and it's a bit of an annoying reason why we have to keep them inside, to be honest, because we don't want to. But the reason we have to keep them inside is they desperately want to take their babies outside and leave them on the sand, and it's a total disaster if they do that because we have no protection of them. So we had four babies to start with. Yeah. She had a litter of four. And then we unfortunately lost one, which we kind of expected to happen. It's very, very rare to have a meerkat have all of its litter survive with no problems, isn't it, see? Yeah. 
Yeah, very rare, especially for like high numbers like four and five. Yeah, so you normally have one casualty. Unfortunately, that's just meerkat life. That's nothing we've got a control of. And again, it's really frustrating with the meerkats as well because it's not like a lamb like Birdie where, or a goat kid like Birdie where we can intervene and say, do you know what? We don't think this is going to this is going to go well. Uh, we don't think the mums are going to look after it properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it off and look after it ourselves. You just can't do that with the meerkats. Although we would we would dearly love to, we just can't do it. Um, mums are better. The meerkat family are better looking after it. The babies themselves. So that's we're kind of our hands are tied with that one. So unfortunately, what they done was they took all three babies outside, and we lost two. Yeah. So frustrating. Connor was heartbroken. There's nothing we could have done about it. They're still remaining in just now, and they'll remain in for the foreseeable until the little baby. There we go. Yeah. Until the little baby is big enough that it can properly look after itself. I don't mean we lost them as in we couldn't find them. We think there's been a predator or something that's came and took them. Mum's obviously left them and didn't look after them. So it's so frustrating. It's one. Of, it's a real stinker. Worst one in a while, isn't it? Yeah, it's... It, it genuinely is. It's one of the worst ones in a while. Because we'd put in a lot of hard work to get them to that point as well. And uh, yeah, it's just so annoying. But anyway, the good news is, take the W, we've got one healthy, beautiful little meerkat left, which, again, is probably what would have happened in the wild, if we're being honest. Uh, you always lose one or two. I don't know where he or she is. He, he's just went into the tunnel. Oh, he's went into his tunnel. He's of course he has. Tunnel. He comes in and out as he wants. I just saw him, that's the first time I've ever seen him, he just stood up on his, on his two feet. There he like is. They're on, like they're on lookout. Oh, look, at, they're very rough with them, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're insanely rough with them. It's always been a surprise for us ever since we've started, uh, ever since we've been so close to the meerkats after they gave birth. And the reason I say that is we used to, uh, used to have a big mud mud area out the back. It was like a big heap of soil that they could burrow into and they had a whole network of tunnels and they used to have their babies in there. Um, so we had no control. We didn't know how many they had because they were down the holes. We didn't know what age they were. We didn't know how they were feeding them. And that's why we kind of done the uh, the extra extension and improved their pen. So we've never really had the privilege to be up close and see how they work and how they operate in a pack um, until now. And it kind of shocks you how rough they are with them. They sit on them, they all crowd over them, they're very in its face all the time, and it's just the way they go. It's just their, just their kind of personalities, and that's their natural thing to do. Are you on lookout? We've always got one on lookout, and it's this little guy here. Connor, what have you named the baby meerkat, Signa's asking? It's, I've not named it yet. Right now, it's baby meerkat. We've, the re we hold off on the... Yeah, we, we, don't, we tend not to name things that we're kind of worried about because we don't... It sounds... You don't want to get overly attached to them just in case something happens, and especially, especially when they're... Uh, it's such a fragile thing like the meerkats... Um, I think in knowing what we know now in future litters we should hopefully have a lot more success Yeah. Um, but it's a learning curve for everyone and we rely so so heavily on the meerkats to do their job and when they don't do their job it's really really difficult um, and I think that baby's inside there and they're crawling over the top yeah. of it is it not? yeah they are yeah. so they are a bit of a nightmare so what we actually done was to try and uh, prevent them wanting to move the babies around all the time they had this box. This was all closed off. This was a new box that we made. This was all closed off. Uh, we added a pipe in to simulate a tunnel, which they love. And that was nice and dark in there because they liked to have the babies in the dark. So they had one, one pen in the bottom, one little shed in the bottom. They've got one on the top in here, which again is very dark. You can see in around there. It's nice and dark in there. Uh, they didn't really particularly want to have them in that one. They liked having them in here. Um, so we've done everything that we could. We can't. We can't do any more for them. Um, so and it's showing with this little one. It's growing like a weed, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> They're wanting out now. I think. Like, oh, here he comes. <laughs> Just spat out the other side. Can you get? Can you pick it up, see? You can get it now. Connor's gonna get bit in a second here. Um, Jerry says, will the meerkats breed again soon? What's their gestation period? Well, they can actually have up to three litters a year. 
Ours tend to have one. Yeah, they do. But um, that's why it's, they do lose them a lot in the wild. But it's because they can have so many. It's You know, it's the same as a rabbit. And that's... There we go. How adorable. That is just tiny. And they make this noise constantly. From the first day they're born, they're making little noises. And you see how small he is. It's just strong, tiny. Strong, really. uh, so they have up to three letters C, you're saying? Carry yeah, on. they can have up to three letters. Um, it doesn't matter the season either. Um, in the wild, they actually have them all year round. In captivity, it's usually they'll have one during the summer, and that'll be them. And funnily enough, this is kind of when we have it. Yeah, the, it's the, usually it's, the same. It's, it's normally the same every year, and this is around around this time. About the beginning of June. I think they were slightly early, were they not? Were they slightly early or slightly late as last year? I think they were slightly late. Slightly later. Um, everything yeah, okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Right. We did actually have um, two litters one year, but there was, it was better to just have the one because none of them made it, unfortunately. Yeah. So. so sometimes you're better having all the goodness into one rather than having the two. And uh, you almost feel like when they're used to having one, it kind of catches them by surprise sometimes yeah. and they're like, why is it? Why is there another one here? But now we're able to keep a really close eye on them. I think we're gonna we, we would have more success even if we did have two litters, um, and that's again why we've made the improvement to try and uh, up the care for them and basically make sure that we can uh, we can intervene if we need to because when they had them down the burrows we had absolutely no hope. Um, we just couldn't see them, and we weren't having any, any success rate with it. This guy here <laughs> is all I can hear is him chewing in the background what's he got there like a tendon or something off that chicken leg look at the bone it's a bare bone that he's got left he looks like he's enjoying his dinner doesn't he um, so yeah what I was saying there about the two or three letters and they have quite a few of each that's a natural thing and you tend to find that same with rabbits, mice, rats, everything like that. Not that I'm saying they're the same as mice and rats, but it's the same with things that have, unfortunately, a high kind of uh, fatality rate, especially in the, whether that be in the wild or when they're young as well. They tend to have a lot and then just by the, the natural selection, you're always left with some of them. So they have quite a few few babies and they're always left with some. So that's why they have so... Uh, so many so you can have up to five three times a year so you can have 15 babies which is quite a lot um, how many females do we have see Charlotte's asking uh, we don't we don't know uh, as far as we were we're up to three but we could, when they arrived they were full grown adults so you can't check when they're adults oh look at that big bit that just came yeah. from its throat gross ah oh, it's so chewed up that was so disgusting yeah so we, we've got we've got at least three probably four We've got 10 meerkats, well, 11 meerkats altogether now. Uh, we've got 10 meerkats and, well, there's at least three lactating, so we've got at least yeah. three. Um, and because it's insanely difficult to find out exactly how many of each you've got, because they never stop, they all look identical, and they're always flying around the pen. So, realistically, we've probably got a couple of young ones, and then uh, we've got three seniors. So we've probably got about five and five, so probably about half and half. The male, The senior female... Oh, I'm sorry, I am zoomed in. The senior female meerkat is the only one who breeds. If one of the younger ones ends up breeding, they will attack all the babies, uh, and none of the babies will make it regardless um, of the conditions that they're in. So it's only the, the alpha female and the alpha male who are allowed to breed. All the other females club in together and help raise the, the pups. So they're very clever the way they work. Oh, my legs have died. Ow. That wasn't a good... <laughs> Corners <laughs> writhing about in agony here as well. And that's one of her young from last year. This is Squint yeah, this is Squint Tail. She'd broke her tail when she was very young. Um not really sure how it happens, but she gets no, on absolutely. From birth, really. And she's uh, she's one of her younger ones. Oh yeah. Right, up we go. I'm gonna what way should we go? We need to go and check on Birdie and update everyone on Birdie, I think. We've had the vet out today. So it's been uh it's been a pretty busy day. Uh, we are getting prepared for the Strawberry Festival, which is happening Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So we're looking forward to seeing everyone then, if you can make it. Uh, Catherine says, hi, I'm late. Welcome back, Farmer Ben. Thank you, Catherine. Um, and Deborah says, do all the females give birth? No. 
Uh, I did just answer that two seconds ago. It's only the alpha female that will give birth. They can't climb out of the pen. They don't climb out, no. Um, and they will be... They'll remain in there for another week or so. They're quite happy in their pen. There's plenty of space. And then they'll get back out into their into their main pen. Once, uh, well, once Connor decides, actually. Um, is that the way to eat in the wild chicken? No, but it's the closest supplement we can get. So they'll eat... They get eggs... They get um, they get veg, you know. They, they're scavengers. They get mealworms. So, like some mealworms, eggs. They'll get a meat of some sort. So they can eat snakes and bugs and different things like that. Uh, they get chicks as well with us. They get the old chicks, which are bred for. Well, they're actually hatched out for feeding animals like that. Uh, so they get a very varied diet. Right, I'm heading down this way. Yeah, they get a very, very varied diet with us, and that's the best way um, to keep them breeding as well and keep them healthy. Ooh. Uh, Jennifer says, welcome back, Farmer Ben. Thank you, Jennifer. Kathy, thank you for the 200 stars. Jennifer, thank you for the 45 stars. Uh, Jan says, Ben, did you get my parcel? Jan, I have to be honest... We have a load of parcels in the in the party room just now that need to be opened, and we're going to get to that tomorrow or late or later tonight, maybe. Um, so we've kept them all from when I'm away, and I'm going to open them all at the same time. So I look forward with great anticipation to opening your parcel. Thank you so much for sending something that's incredibly kind. Um, can the mother and her babies be seg- segregated from the others until the babies get big enough to put off the bullies? Yeah. No. They, there's no bullies. There's no bullies. It's not the fact they're bullying the. It's not the fact they're bullying them. It's the fact they want to take them outside. Right, little lady. Let's update everyone. Um, so there's not just a mum who re- raises them. They all, as a pack, as a as a ten pack of ten meerkats, they all raise them together. So it's not as if you can t- just take one off. It wouldn't work. Right, little birdie. Little misty blue. Thank you, Leslie, for five hundred stars. Uh, little birdie has. A sore leg. I think you've seen that in Farmer Pete's video this morning. Uh, all of a sudden, she's just taking a bit of a sore leg. We had the vet here. You're trying to jump about, bless you, aren't you? Because you're really happy. We had the vet here today looking at it. There's no immediate injuries that you can see. There's no joint ill or anything that's raising its head just now. She has been given a painkiller. And do you want to hold this, see? Yeah. Come on, little lady. I don't want to... She has been given a painkiller, and one thing that the vet did notice is... Oh, she's not going to want me to do it, is she? She has one leg shorter than the other. <laughs> so that's kind of just something that's happened from birth. I'm not happy with that. Just uh, trying to just feel if there's any swelling developed, but there's nothing, nothing came. So she's had a painkiller, she's had an anti-inflammatory. She's got one leg short and the other, which, there you go, that's in fully outstretched. Can you see that? They're just slightly different lengths, so that's okay. Shouldn't make any difference to her, bless her. Um, she's still eating absolutely fine. There's no infection there that we can see. So whether she's just hurt it, whether Misty Blue's lay on it, we don't know. Um, again, we'll just have to give it time. It's much the same as Dolly. She got her sore leg. Have to just give it a wee bit of time and then Dolly healed up fine as well. So I'm sure she'll be totally, uh, totally fine. But look at them. What a pair they are, aren't they? Every time I come into the workshop, they're sitting cuddled up under the heat lamp. It's not cold, but they just like their heat. Um, So yeah, they're doing really well. Um, Rosie's farm van, what did you do with the blanket I sent? Uh, The blanket is still there, Rose. Thank you, I've seen it. It's uh, it's very nice. Thank you so much for that. Uh, good morning from Las Vegas. Good morning, Brenda. She's so lovely, um, Tamara says. I know she is, and you can see her jumping on Misty Blue there, so you know she's not in too much pain if she's wanting to do that. If she was really, really sore, she'd just be sitting in the corner. So don't worry about it too much. Uh, we will get her sorted. There's no problems there. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've not got too many concerns over it. They do, from time to time, just get a little bit of a sore leg. So um, it's not uh, it's not too big a deal. I know it looks painful, but she's getting on fine. You can tell by her mannerisms and the way that she's going about that it's not bothering her too much. Uh, so, yeah, 
Put your mind at ease and we'll keep a good eye on her. Um, I see loads of care symbols and love hearts coming for her. I think everyone's got a little soft spot for Birdie, don't they? She's had a tough start of it. Yeah, she's going to give him the same, um, same vibe as Miracle. Yeah, same Miracle around. vibes. And especially, uh, I think the, the supporters video that we've done is an update. I think that's actually, for the first time ever, it was a little while ago now, I think we should release that uh, to the public and you'll see how terribly ill she was uh, after she was born that night. Uh, myself and Farmer Pete had her in the staff room trying to warm her up and Farmer Pete was just just had her cuddling her because um, we didn't think she was going to make it. She was so terribly ill that night. We thought we just didn't think she was going to have a hope. And yet here she is. And it's it's amazing how many times that we're fortunate enough to have ones that pull through. Obviously, you get them where they don't. Everyone does. Every farmer does. But thankfully, little birdie's here with us. And look how happy she looks right now. Look at her little smile. <laughs> Bless her. It's just great to see. And her condition's looking really, really good as well. So Misty Blue... I'm not sure what's going on with her because she doesn't really grow. She doesn't really do anything. She's having an itch right now. Um, she's Farmer Pete's little uh, little pet, isn't she? Yeah. She loves Farmer Pete so much. Uh, Linda says, do they need a little bigger area to get more exercise? No, they don't. No. They're totally fine where they are. They're not going to do much just now anyway, especially when, when Birdie's got a sore leg. Um, so they will do, when they get a bit bigger and a bit stronger, they will get into a bigger area. You'll see when they're first born, the mums stay in a smaller pen with them to look after them anyway, so it's not nothing out of the ordinary. Um, Jane says she remembers that live. Yeah, it was a difficult live to do. I didn't enjoy doing that live, but it needed to be done. Um, it was a difficult situation. She was just so terribly ill. So I think I'm going to share that. Uh, we might put it on our YouTube channel. Another note before we head off tonight, the each live video is going to be downloaded and put onto our YouTube channel. I know a lot of you are having problems watching on catch-up and it's really frustrating for you. So we're going to be putting our catch-up videos, uh, our videos catch-up on our YouTube channel as well because they have been freezing on Facebook for whatever reason, just for some people. So if you do need to catch up on them, we'll have them up. Hopefully, um, like this one will go up tomorrow morning, um, which will be Tuesday morning, or Farmer Pete's morning videos will go up uh, that day. So that's our plan, just to save anyone getting frustrated with it, because that's the last thing we want. And we don't want people missing out early uh, either. So, um, yeah, that was just a little uh, footnote about things. Lynn just subscribed and says, finally hooked me. Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for joining us. Look forward to seeing your supporters group. Uh, I'll be doing a supporters live tomorrow, so I will see you all then. Um, and I came in earlier on, see, and little Misty Blue was actually standing just chewing cud. <laughs> chewing her cud. The size of her, just sitting chewing cud. And then after had her, after you gave her a bottle, she had the hiccups. Oh, no. Yeah, she's oh, sitting hiccups. with the hiccups. So she's a right little character. Um, Farm Ben, she's actually using it now since she stretched out. Well, I think she will because she's had a bit of a painkiller and anti-inflammatory. Hopefully that'll help things. Um, Kelsey says, I think they need to update Facebook. I think so. I think it's, it's a Facebook glitch. There's nothing we can do. Um, there's nothing different we are doing. It's just all of a sudden started. So, um, yeah. It's one of them. Try. Uh, you can catch up on YouTube, so it's not too big a deal. Uh, and if you want to go over there and hit subscribe, that would be great. And we'll be putting a few more videos on TikTok as well later on tonight. Uh, TikTok is Dalscon Farm. Uh, if you want to catch us there. Head it, Look at that. Loving it. If it was a dog, it would be... Shaking its back leg, wouldn't it? <laughs> Bonnie, thank you for the 50 stars. Right, everyone, we are going to go and get some tea. It's uh, about time to get something to eat. Thank you for jo joining us. Thank you for joining us on First Stream Back. Farmer Connor, when are you getting time off? Never. Who needs time off? Time off for wimps. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye, everyone.